All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and the fish room. As many of you have probably guessed from the teasers, I'm setting up a new African cichlid aquarium. I already moved the tank that used to be in here and put the fish into this 40 gallon breeder for right now. I've also got a cutting of a peace lily coming out of the 40 gallon breeder and my plan eventually in this aquarium is to have some lighting coming from the ceiling or off the wall which will not only light up the aquarium but also enable me to have some immersed plants growing from the top of it as well which will look pretty cool. In the 40 gallon right now we've just got pretty much every single fish that came from the previous South American nature style aquarium that I did. Did a nice little simple scape in here just with the same sand, some of the rocks, some of the driftwood. So we've got the geophagus in here, the angelfish, and then some of the head and tail like tetras that I previously had in the 55. The geophagus will be moving pretty soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that because they will be going in the 125 gallon South American bigger cichlid tank. So make sure you hit that sub button right now so you don't miss that video and i'll just wait a second until you do that yep got it make sure you hit that bell as well appreciate it so yeah this 40 gallons doing great um fish will be moving soon and then we'll be rescaping this tank but obviously today's video is not about this tank so let's check on to the 55 and see what we've got going on All right, so the filtration in this tank is going to be the Sun Sun 304B that I just previously did a video on. I'll leave a card top right hand side of your screen now if you want to check that out. So it's going to be filtered by the pipes that are going to come through the middle of the stand. The intake is going to come down into this section here and then the outflow is going to push water across the tank through the top which is going to give us a nice little bit of surface agitation and gaseous exchange. In terms of the scape that I've got right now, I think this is pretty much the basic idea. I always like to create different little mountain looking ranges or different rock formations in my African cichlid tanks. The vast majority of the Africans that I'll be doing in here will be peacocks and maybe some smaller haps. I'll also be having some mbuna, so I've got a little bit of rock work on that left hand side for them to feel a little safe too. In terms of what I'm actually using in this tank, I do have some egg crate or lighting diffuser that I'm using just to put underneath the rocks and that's just to help distribute the weight of the rocks across the glass of the aquarium. From there, I've just got locally sourced rocks that I've been using in my fish tanks for years now. Obviously, I make sure that the aquarium's safe before flooding the tank and all these guys are, so happy days there. The heater that I'm using in this is just a Aquatop heater and I'll leave links for all the products that you see in this video down in the description if you want to check those out and potentially buy them on Amazon if you've got any tank builds coming up. Next up, once we've got the rocks and the egg crate in there, we are going to look at some sand. I like the natural coloured look of this sand here but I specifically got some African cichlid sand, which just helps to elevate the pH, specifically for the fish that we'll be keeping in this aquarium. While looking at both these sands, I thought I'd just try and mix them together. So this is kind of like a 60, 40, 70, 30 mix of the mainly African cichlid sand and then some of the sunset gold sand. And I think it looks pretty nice and natural. So what I'm actually gonna do is try both different types, the mix and the full African cichlid tank on each side of this aquarium, just to see what it looks like. And then we can go from there and really decide. But I really like the natural look, but then again, I want the buffering capacity of the African cichlid sand. So this right here is the straight up African cichlid sand. And as you can see, it's very, very pure white and doesn't have much other coloration in it. And this right here is the mix. So on this one, I probably did about 70-30 and sprinkled more of the natural looking sand on top. And I personally think this looks way better and goes with the rocks a lot more. So that's what I'm going to go for. 
the African cichlid sand will still help to buffer the pH to around a, a 7 8. And my tap water comes out at around 7 6, so it won't have too, too much to do. So here we are the next day. Fish room is looking awesome. The tank is looking good too. I'm just about to fill it up, and as you can see on that left hand side, I did decide to change it a little bit and add just a little bit more cover and an overhanging rock. Reminds me very much of Lion King and I'm just expecting Mufasa to be talking a Simba on top of that rock at some point. Chances of that happening, slim to none, but a boy can dream. Anyway, we're going to start filling up this tank and then see how it looks. Next day, the tank's filled up and we are currently acclimating fish. We got the Sunsun 304B filter all set up, added some seeded media from my other filters, and I'm also planning on taking one of the three sponge filters out of the 125 and putting it into this 55 gallon once these fish are acclimated. As you can see, I've also got three smaller yellow labs in here. Reasoning for this is I've always wanted a male yellow lab and I've tried it two or three times previously, never got one. This time I weren't taking a chance so I got three, one of them, especially that one right there, I'm pretty sure he's a male, he's got that really dark trim around his dorsal and his anal fin, so high hopes for that guy. As you can see, during the acclimation process, I took out one of the three sponge filters from the 125, and this tank with the sponge filter and the seeded media from a few other filters in the Sun Sun canister filter should be absolutely golden now. And I also took the sponge filter out of that 55, which I think looks great. So here's the tank. Sponge filter's doing great. I'm going to be testing this every day. I've also got some Seachem stability if I need to add it. Here are the three yellow labs. And below that, we've got the new fish. We've got four of them. We got them from the local fish store. So let's actually finish acclimating them and then we'll show you the tank and uh, give you a rundown on what we've got.
So I hope you enjoyed that little cinematic, guys. To go over a little stocking list right now, obviously this is gonna increase, but beaming like the sun in there, we've got three yellow labs. I'm hoping one, or thinking one at least, is a male, as I've always wanted a male yellow lab. I've then got a dragon blood cichlid, a sunshine peacock, a red peacock or a German red, unsure right now just because of the coloration. It's probably a line bred red peacock um, as the coloration on him looks to be that deeper red rather than the more German red orange. Um, and then I think it is a young electric blue Ali, but I'm not too sure. And obviously that's the exciting thing about African cichlids and buying them young is that sometimes you get them assorted and it's kind of interesting and fun to see what they turn into. So that's what I've got in this tank right now. I am going to be pulling up the Cynodonus catfish from the 33 gallon blue neon breeding tank. Um, so he'll be coming up there. And then I'm also currently back breeding the blue neons and I've got about 10 or 11 young blue neon cichlids right now that are growing out so my aim eventually is to get these to a decent size and move them up to the 55 where they can continue growing out i'll then pick one or two males to keep in this show tank myself and then add to my breeding group below and sell the rest so that's the plan for that and then i've also got two or three other africans that i'll probably order online just to make sure that i get what i want um and that's something that I'm, that I'm currently planning, but not completely sold on right now. I know for a fact I want a Sulfhead May Landy, but then the two or three others um, are up for debate. So if you've got any of your favorites, please leave them down in the comments. Let me know what you think I should add to this tank. Hopefully you guys are pretty excited that I'm back into African cichlids. I know I certainly am. Uh, it's been a long time, but I wanted to make sure that I got into African cichlids for me rather than anything or anyone else. So really excited to get this going and watch these uh, fish grow and mature and deal with everything that African cichlids uh, offers really as, as a little sub hobby of the aquarium hobby. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you think to this tank and uh, what fish you think I might want to add into this tank so thanks for watching i appreciate all your support of the channel and we'll see you on the next one bye for now